What's going on guys? Welcome to Fearless Friday. So today I want to talk a little bit about the advice I would give somebody who's thinking about going out approaching for the first time. They want to go out and they want to meet and be the chooser of the women they actually want to meet with. The girl they want to date, the girl they want to experience. Let's just say that, right? And so you're thinking about going out and you want to hit the ground running. So what I want to do is I want to give you the best advice that will accelerate your growth so that you don't get stuck in the places I got stuck. You don't end up wasting unnecessary time that you don't need to waste and you end up winning a lot faster, okay? So before we jump into that, consider hitting like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're a dating company helping men get better with women. Now check it out. On to the meat and potatoes. When I first came into this work, it was scary right? Because I had a whole lot of fear around talking to women. There's peaks, there were valleys, there were ups and downs. There were a lot of little steps in the progression of getting better with women. But not only getting better with women, stopping random women in the street to elicit curiosity, interest, attraction, turn on, all that stuff, right? Think of it like a cold call if you do sales. You have no idea who your prospects are. You've never talked to them before. You've never seen them. Yet you got to hop on a phone and try to sell them. Right? Sounds difficult. But it really isn't that difficult. Once you've had enough experience in it, and you realize that, okay, it's actually not that bad. It just takes a lot of warming up. And then you hit states where you're starting to have a lot of success. So for the guy who's a first timer at this, who's been, been watching these videos or maybe is been sitting in the background thinking about approaching but hasn't actually gone out to do any i want to give you five pieces of advice that'll accelerate you and these are these are well curated to get you guys the success faster without going through the painful 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 parts of it which there is going to be some pain associated with it if you've got some hang-ups around going out and meeting women or else you already be doing it so anyways let's jump to the first piece now, the first piece, rejection. Don't take it personal. A lot of guys lose a lot of time getting hung up over rejection and their emotions that come with it. Remember, just like we said about the cold calling, they don't know you. They're only responding to your energy. And the cool thing about energy is you have 100% control over your energy, but also with that, your energy can switch on the drop of a dime right? You can go from heavy, sad, angry, to happy, peaceful, full of energy, full of life in a matter of seconds. All it takes is a shift in your awareness. Now, if you're walking up with heavy emotions, if you're wallowing, if you're holding back and not being assertive enough, yeah, you're going to get rejected and that's okay. Not all the time, but there's a greater chance that you're going to get rejected. Don't take it personal. They don't know you. Right? They got a chance to really know who you were. I am guarantee you they like you. Unless you got some stuff about you that's not cool. <laughs> you need to work that out. But on average, most people are just chill. But most people are just nervous or they got some kind of barrier that's going on that's really cr- making it so that people don't get a chance to really know them or like them. So, number one, don't take it personal. Number two, rejection doesn't mean you're not growing. Actually, if anything, it means you are growing. So a lot of guys take it to mean, oh, because I'm getting shot down left and right, I'm not doing a good job. But you also got to welcome the fact that you're out there showing up in the first place because a lot of people are not even going out showing up. I figured there was a statistic about how many guys actually go out and approach girls in the street and it was a very low number. So the fact that you're out there even doing it, have some courage, welcome some courage. That takes courage to do it. So welcome some courage for yourself. As you welcome courage for yourself, watch your energetic state or watch your emotional state climb higher, right? and then use that to go back out and do some more approaches. Now, again, with that, you're going to get rejected, and that's fine. The thing that'll accelerate you faster through the rejections, that'll move you faster through the emotions of the rejection is realizing that it's a part of the journey. The approaches and the rejection only make you aware of what needs to shift in your energy. So it's really a gift more than it is a curse. So take your ego out the equation and surrender to it and realize that you're still growing and you notice as you grow more and more and more in it, you'll get rejected less, 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 and less. And that's a really good measure of how your growth is occurring. Okay. So with that said, on to number three, people watching you. 
<laughs> now this is a big one for a lot of guys. A lot of guys don't want to be seen approaching women. Like they don't want to be seen liking girls. And that can be a hindrance, especially if you're going to be out, let's say you're in a grocery store and you see somebody you like, and you're like, yo, I want to talk to this girl, but I can't because she's in line and everybody's going to see me doing it, right? So then what do you do? You end up missing the girl. You end up missing this opportunity. Maybe you had a connection with her down the aisle and then she gets in the line and then you can't talk to her. So here's the thing about people watching. People are watching, they're judging. I'll tell you that right off the bat. They're judging. Everybody judges. Everybody judges. It's okay. They won't be thinking about you in 10 seconds. They'll be back on their phone looking at Instagram. They'll be distracted by some other thing and they won't be worried about you. So don't take the stares personal. But also, a lot of the times, especially when men are looking at you, actually women too, a lot of them are in admiration about what you're doing because there's a lot of guys out there who wish they were doing the same thing or wish they had the courage it took to walk up to a girl who's standing in line at a grocery store because most people would just look at her and see that she's cute, but they would never ever go talk to her. Very important that you know that so you don't get caught up in the fear of being seen or being judged because nobody's ever gonna approach you and tell you anything about that. Maybe. <laughs> Happened to me once out of like, a hundred thousand approaches I've done. Right? Very rare. Okay. So get out of your head about that. Now, number four, small wins equal big wins. Don't discount the small wins. What would a small win look like? Let's say if you're a first time approacher, which you probably are, and you're going out and you got an approach and let's say you got rejected the last five you did and they weren't nice. They ignored you, they, you know, they told you to screw off. They didn't pay. They didn't give you. They didn't pay you any mind. They didn't give you the time of day. And then let's say when you're six one, when you're six one, a girl gives you a smile. Is that not a win? Yes, it is. So welcome that win. A lot of the times we get caught up in the rejections that are that don't feel good, and we overlook all the other little small ones. You have to balance it out because if you're so lopsided, you're only going to associate approaching with pain and approaching is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be painful. It's supposed to be enjoyable. It's supposed to be pleasurable. You're supposed to enjoy walking up to women and talking to them. The more in enjoyment you are of it, the more people will open up for you right away. The more pulled back and walled off you are, the more they're going to want to close up. Simple as that. All right. One last piece to that. Over time, the small wins equal quantum leaps, right? So if you keep noticing the small stuff, the smiles, the girls holding your hand a little bit longer when you shake your hand to greet yourself, right? And that turns into flirtation. Then you start knowing what to do with that. Then you start getting numbers. Then you start to go on more dates. Then you start to hook up more. Again, that's progression, right? That's all growth. So remember all those little small things that you're not looking at turn into big things the more you acknowledge them. Okay. So on to number five, make it a daily practice. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have morning routines. Brian's got morning routines. Everybody in our company has morning routines routines make it a routine if you guys really want to get better at this stuff decide what your routine is going to be don't make it difficult so that you don't want to go out there and do it make it enjoyable make it enough tension where it's challenging but not so much tension that it's debilitating and you don't want to go out okay so it might look like i'm going to go out and approach two girls a day or i'm going to go out between one o'clock and three o'clock or one o'clock and two o'clock and approach two girls a day. Whatever it is, make it a daily practice. Do it for a full seven days and then switch it. Or do it for 30 days and then switch it. Get used to the practice, get used to being in practice. The consistency is what's gonna make you grow a lot faster. Again, you don't need to be out there for a long period of time. You can probably grow a whole lot in just a week alone, let alone two weeks, let alone a month, then let alone two months. And imagine you're out there the whole year, You'd have had so many dates already. You would have met so many girls. You probably already had a girlfriend at this point or, or had a girlfriend and then broke up with her. And now you're dating, now you're dating again. Uh, so many different things could happen in a year. So again, make it a daily practice and get out there and put yourself in the tension, guys. Okay. Anyways, guys, love shooting these videos for you. Love reflecting my journey and just seeing, a, and seeing what I did to grow what was most effective and then give it to you guys. So you guys can actually grow and have those results that I was having. Because to me, those results were awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go back and watch Brian's video. It's titled, How 
naturals approach. And in that video, you'd be surprised to find out that naturals never go out with the intention to approach, but they always go out expecting to bump into a girl, run into a girl, just happen to meet a girl, because that's what they do. They just know it's gonna happen at some point. It's a, it's a part of their reality. And it's also part of my reality. But the only way I got there was by doing the work that I'm teaching in these videos for you guys. So anyways, go back and watch Brian's video, how naturals approach is super vital to your growth and it'll benefit you guys very well. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and comment below. But also, if you guys want to hop on a call and find out where or how to get where you want to go in your dating life, look in the description below. I'll put my link in there. Find a time that works for you and I'll go ahead and give you a call. We'll chat about how to make you successful in your life. Because once you start seeing results, you won't want to go back to what you're used to. I guarantee you, no one's ever wanted to go back <laughs> after doing work with us. So chat with you soon, signing off fearless. And remember, only the confident really live. Peace.